This happened yesterday in an NFL game. Take a look at that. That right there is Cleveland Browns player Nick Chubb suffering one of the few injuries that makes me see that I seldomly get that reaction from injuries being a 10 year ringside physician. But this, this took the cake so let's explain it in a simple easy to understand manner of course the knee is a hinge joint it has extension it has flexion and it has a little bit of lateral rotation as well as its normal function as you guys are seeing here let's put it in the other side <laughs> as you guys are seeing there there is a hit happening from the lateral side meaning from the sides of the body in there and it's hitting the knee perfectly on the lateral side bending it and transforming it into a letter l it's this is one of the most gruesome injuries that we have seen in the nfl and this is gonna take a little bit of time to heal of course what structures are in there in the knee as the knee like i explained earlier is a simple hinge type of joint flexion and extension as you guys are seeing in the picture little bit of lateral rotation so there's ligaments and there's structures stopping the knee from buckling to the sides and being stable those are the lateral collateral and medial collateral ligaments let's take a let's put a little arrow there that area there of trouble that you guys are seeing that's the ligament that most likely disappeared and broke off completely from the knee joint and i'm talking about the medial collateral ligament what else could have been damaged in this car wreck no 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 this train wreck of an injury let's say it absolutely everything let's name all the structures meniscus they're right there they're the shock absorber of the joint probably destroyed PCL, posterior collateral ligament, and ACL, anterior cruciate ligament, probably completely gone. The patella, um, the patella structure and patellar tendon, uh, a little bit, you know, hardier and uh, stronger. So, you know, maybe damaged, but I don't think it's completely gone out there. This is a surgical nightmare. There's plenty of orthopedic surgeons that are going to explain that procedure here in YouTube, but the diagnosis what is is this a simple x-ray type of case <laughs> well absolutely not we need intricate evaluation of these structures like the ligaments uh, vascular structures need to be evaluated of course it's an mri case so you're gonna have to have an mri with contrast to check absolutely everything in the knee and of course we got to check upwards as well we got to check the hip we got to check the thigh and we had we have to check the leg and the ankle because seeing the gruesome injury at the knee we kind of forget about the other joints that could be involved there could be some involvement as well here as we're taking a look at the video once more this is 100 percent a surgical case and mr nick chubb is going to be out for a long long time there's a lot of people asking questions is this a career ending injury well that question is going to be answered by nick and his surgical team but there's a high probability that an athlete with such expl explosiveness and and football relies on the power and the integrity of your body it's not going to be there in that knee so um yeah this is one of those injuries that leaves you baffled and kind of makes even doctors look away so here's the best uh for mr nick chubb uh, from the cleveland browns hopefully uh he can go through the process seamlessly and pain and with not painless but with as little pain as possible wishing him a lot of blessings uh in his recovery